Mars has always been a mystery, a barren world that might hold clues to ancient life. Now, China is racing to bring back pieces of the red planet before anyone else. Their Tianwen-3 mission, launching in 2028, could make China the first nation to return Martian samples to Earth, years ahead of NASA. This isn't just another space mission, it's a groundbreaking leap that could reshape planetary science and shift the balance of space power. How will China pull this off? Why does this matter so much and what could it reveal about life beyond Earth? Let's dive in. China's Tianwen-3 mission represents a significant leap in planetary exploration, aiming to return Martian samples to Earth, a feat yet to be accomplished by any nation. Scheduled for launch in 2028, Tianwen-3 will employ a dual launch strategy to achieve its objectives. The mission's architecture involves two separate spacecraft launched via Long March rockets. The first launch will deploy a lander equipped with an ascent vehicle to the Martian surface. This lander is designed to collect at least 500 grams of Martian soil and rock samples using advanced drilling and scooping mechanisms. Once the samples are secured, the ascent vehicle will transport them into Martian orbit. The second launch will send an orbiter tasked with rendezvousing with the ascent vehicle in Mars orbit. Upon successful docking, the samples will be transferred to a return capsule aboard the orbiter, which will then embark on the journey back to Earth. This complex sequence of operations necessitates precise coordination and timing, reflecting China's growing proficiency in space exploration. The technical challenges inherent in this mission are substantial. Launching a vehicle from the Martian surface presents unique difficulties due to the planet's lower gravity and thin atmosphere, which differs significantly from Earth's conditions. Additionally, executing an orbital rendezvous around Mars requires advanced navigation systems and real-time communication capabilities. China's prior successes, such as the Chang'e lunar missions and the Tianwen-1 mission, which deployed the Jurong rover on Mars in 2021, have provided valuable experience in managing such complexities. The decision to advance the launch date to 2028 underscores China's commitment to establishing itself as a leader in space exploration. This accelerated timeline not only demonstrates China's technological capabilities, but also positions the nation to potentially outpace other spacefaring entities in returning Martian samples. The race to return Martian samples is intensifying, with NASA and the European Space Agency ESA facing mounting challenges while China surges ahead. With Tianwen-3, NASA have long planned a Mars Sample Return MSR, mission, originally targeting 2033. However, severe budget overruns soaring to 11 billion and logistical hurdles have pushed the potential sample return to 2040, sparking widespread concern over feasibility. In contrast, China's Tianwen-3 is designed for speed and efficiency, using a streamlined two-launch approach to collect and return samples by 2031. Instead of NASA's complex multi-stage retrieval process, where samples collected by the Perseverance rover would require a series of relay missions to return them to Earth, China's approach prioritizes simplicity and execution speed. The plan is to land, collect samples from a single location, launch a small ascent vehicle from Mars, rendezvous in orbit and return the samples directly to Earth. This minimizes mission risks and accelerates the timeline significantly. The contrast between the two approaches underscores a shift in space exploration leadership. If Tianwen-3 succeeds, China will claim a major scientific and geopolitical victory, overtaking the U.S. in Mars exploration. While NASA struggles with funding constraints and technological hurdles, China's rapid advancement suggests a clear intent to become the dominant force in planetary exploration. But there's also the question of collaboration or competition. NASA has hinted at exploring partnerships with private companies like SpaceX, which could dramatically cut costs and speed up the process. Some experts believe that NASA could adjust its plans to counter China's growing lead, possibly revamping its Mars sample return strategy with commercial partners to stay competitive in this new space race. As the world watches, this rivalry could dictate the future of interplanetary exploration, with China on the verge of achieving what was once considered a mission only possible for the U.S. Returning samples from Mars is more than just a technological achievement. 
It's a gateway to answering fundamental questions about the universe. These samples hold the potential to reveal evidence of ancient microbial life, provide crucial insights into the planet's geological history, and offer essential data for future human missions to Mars. Laboratory analysis on Earth will allow scientists to study Mars at a depth that rovers and orbiters simply cannot match. If biosignatures, or even the faintest chemical traces of past life are discovered, it would be one of the greatest scientific breakthroughs in history. The implications would extend far beyond Mars, forcing a re-evaluation of how and where life could exist in the universe. It could also reshape astrobiology, influencing how we search for life on exoplanets in habitable zones around distant stars. But beyond the science, this mission is also a massive strategic milestone for China. Successfully executing a Mars sample return mission would place China in an elite club of nations capable of conducting complex deep space operations. It would cement their reputation as a global space power, shifting the balance in international space leadership. NASA has historically dominated interplanetary exploration, but with Tianwen-3, China is proving it can compete and even surpass the U.S. in certain areas. Additionally, China has signaled interest in collaboration by offering to share data and possibly even samples with international researchers. This move could foster scientific cooperation or serve as a strategic soft power play, strengthening China's global influence in the space sector. If successful, Tianwen-3 will not only advance planetary science, but also open new doors for international space partnerships or intensify rivalries. Moreover, the technology developed for Tianwen-3 will have long-term applications, particularly for future Mars colonization. Understanding the composition of Martian soil and resources will help scientists plan for incise resource utilization, ISRU, a key step in building self-sustaining habitats for astronauts on Mars. If humans are ever to set foot on Mars and stay there, this mission could provide critical groundwork for making that a reality. In the grander scheme of things, Tianwen-3 represents more than just a sample return mission. It's a declaration of capability, ambition, and the future of planetary exploration. China's Tianwen-3 mission represents a significant leap forward in our quest to understand Mars and our place in the universe. By ambitiously aiming to return Martian samples by 2031, China is not only advancing scientific discovery, but also reshaping the landscape of international space exploration. As we watch this mission unfold, we are reminded of the spirit of exploration that drives humanity to reach beyond our planet and seek answers to the mysteries of the cosmos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.